Kicking off this section <laughs> is Wednesday's Financial Times. Kerry, it seems like our economy might need some Viagra if we can afford it. The UK's growth prospects, worst amongst top economies, warns OECD. We've been told this for a while now, haven't we? Yeah. The UK economy is set to be the worst form in the G20, G20 bar Russia. They obviously don't know how to talk to British people, so I know most British people are going to hear that and go, hooray, we beat Russia. <laughs> um, you know, I think it's the way to get around all this and to set our ambitions as low as possible. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like when you go to a place like Holland, and you say, this is uh, being photos of the worst worst town in Britain. They go, hooray! <laughs> you know, they're very upset when they went second. Yeah. Um, so the, uh, the UK gross domestic product will fall 0.4% in 2023, rising mid 0.2% uh, in 2024. That would be a longer and deeper downturn, downturn even in the forecast uh, for Germany. You think it'd be a lot worse um, for them? You know, because I, I thought the whole thing was that the Russia-Ukraine war would affect, would affect them far more than it would affect well, us not because of the It also does. The, the whole prices, worldwide market for energy prices has been driven up and, and Germany do still have a manufacturing sector. Mm. Uh, right, they rely course. quite heavily and that, that it tends to be quite energy intensive, whereas we have a city and uh, and that's, you know, just people tapping away at computers. But um, it's, it's, I don't it's, know, what do you think, though, Louis? I kind of get the feeling, if I'm honest, that these projections are... You know, this, this could change by, by next week. They're reading yeah. the tea leaves, so, I mean, they talk about energy prices, but the oh. price of gas, which spiked up in August to just unprecedented levels, yeah. no unprecedented is, is an overused word, but then it went negative. We were, we were so good at sort of, uh, like, finding other sources uh. that we... The, the price of gas led... We, we were paying people to take gas away at one yeah. point. I mean, now... Now it's, now it's gone back up again. So, you know, we can't really say what price uh, energy is going to be in a month's time. But, I mean, I, I'm kind of disappointed with a lot of Rishi Sunak's policies. Mm. So, you know, he said, no, we're going to have a hard Brexit. We're not going to have any sort of Swiss-style uh, deal. We're going to stay alienated from Europe. So that's going to be a drag on trade. Uh, and also, you know, the high tax, the high yeah. spend, that is a real drag on the economy and a drag on any, any growth. So we need to, to stop doing that. And also some of, the, some of the wording that they use, like a tax on unearned income... Uh, uh, they're talking about uh, people investing money and you know, yep. get, you know, reaping the rewards from that. That's not unearned. Somebody's taken a risk with their yep. capital and invested it, and that's you know they've invested it. Why that is like, literally how capitalism works. Right? That's th that's how you get growth. If you yep. want growth, don't start taxing taxing you know people who actually invest in growth. I no, think you're missing the big. point though. It's still better than Russia. <laughs> you know, I also like that you said that unprecedented is an overused word. And I, I wonder who used it first. <laughs> yeah, the first person ever to say unprecedented. Yeah. But yeah, the predictions just keep being wrong. And also what, what, what made a big difference is that, of course, China still being in lockdown meant they weren't using as much natural gas. Yeah. And that wasn't taken into consideration. There's, there's so many factors. So yeah. we, we don't know. But um, They very rarely love uh, match up with any, any, any kind of useful correlation at yeah. all. But I suppose there is a general trend that everyone seems to be down on us at the moment. And, um, and I do tend to agree with you. I can't think anything that Sunak's done since he took over, supposedly calming the markets, but none of it seems to be very positive or, or sort of committed to growth or, or any kind of improvement yeah. at all, does he, essentially? Yeah. I miss trust. Yeah, I'm afraid I do too. <laughs> that was a no. worst, that was worst a glorious 48 hours. <laughs> we were worse than Russia at that point. <laughs>